Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. This one's going to be really exciting. So today I've got a day off work. I was going to go to Thorpe Park, but none of my friends wanted to go with me. <laughs> no, it's actually fine, not bad at all. Uh, just one of those things. I mean, I kind of arranged it last minute to be fair, so that's fine. Instead, I'm going to get my hair cut, so you'll actually see kind of many stages of me today. Like, this is awful. Obviously, pre-shower, practically not wearing any clothes, which you don't want to see, I don't want to see, you know, who, you know, fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get a haircut, I'm going to go downtown and get a haircut, film lots of videos or some. Uh, also start packing, sort some comics out. Uh, we are moving, I have said this, um, so there we go, Claire's done well, packing all that stuff up. <gasps> yeah, so I think I'm just going to like get ready first and then have a look at my list of things to do. I'm also going to write a letter of complaint to Odeon. Bastards! <laughs> so yeah, it's not much of a actual improvement but that's what I look I mean I look like a pineapple or a stupid smelly pumpkin man stupid smelly pumpkin man I'd love to call this video stupid smelly pumpkin man but I'm not I'm not gonna do that but I would like to and I would if you dared me but I won't microfiber cloth I'd like to introduce someone actually this is Fizzle uh, this is the newest of our kind of animal companions uh, lovingly or affectionately known as the little ones uh, as you can see Fizzle is like a rainbow cat he's got wings pink wings I could choose a car I got him from eBay I could choose the color went for pink because I think it went most well with him um, and yeah he's pretty cool very very fluffy he's quite rigid in his position he's like got his uh, legs up and whatnot uh, but yeah, he's really cool. Very, very fluffy and soft, so you can like do that, and it's it's nice. Um, yeah, and he's getting along well with the other guys, so yeah, that is Fizzle. I'll do some Instagrams on him later. Follow me on Instagram. That's probably what you should do. Actually, I should show you this, to be fair. This is my uh, kind of to-do list. All very important stuff, like Michael Jameson comedy videos, food reviews, play Zelda. That's already done. I can highlight that as being done. QD, haircut, uh, rent. Yeah, rent, we're going to sort out. Things they buy antiperspirant. Um, du, 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 du. Yeah, films. This is all video stuff. This one's quite important. Right, audio. Audio. That's good, isn't it? Right, Odeon complaint. Odeon in Ellsbury have been fucking around a lot, man. And just Odeon in general. Like, tried booking the cinema yesterday. We pay unlimited. Pay unlimited movies. And you can't even book it on unlimited. It's just like I got a glitch. And it's like, I did not pay this amount. Like, I've already paid to see this film. This is what's happened. And uh, Cineworld Unlimited is much better. So LSB has five screens, or six screens rather. That's still nothing. That's a very small cinema. They're, they leave the lights on during screenings. That's stupid. Uh, some, there's three rows in a row. On screen one, the main screen, where they don't put the letters on the seats. And it's like, what? So you get people going in, going, where the fuck am I sitting? It's like, yeah, exactly. Where are you sitting? Like, this is mental. Uh, booking problems, ticket problems. A problem with the ticket machine taking so long. Actual tickets themselves. I had to get a ghetto one the other day that was literally written out. Uh, there's, I'm, there's loads of things that I'm not even remembering. Like, yeah, because we're such a small cinema, we don't get many films. Life was on for one week. So many problems, guys. Um, it's really, really frustrating. Um, and then we don't get any additional benefits on, uh, on Odeon Limitless. We get, each month, we get a random percentage off food. So it's like 30% off nachos one month. And it's like... We should get 30% off all food forever. I've just filmed a few food reviews and some edited some videos, so that's good. And I'm now going to go downtown. So, I'm back from downtown. I don't think anyone would disagree that I look good. Actually, fuck. That's quite long. Bollocks. Because I took my glasses off. Oh, man. That is way too long. Uh, I took my glasses off so I can actually, like, as you do in the barber, Anyone glasses will know that. And yeah, I was like, I could, so what, from what I saw, it was basically that long. I was like, yeah, so he's like, do you want any more from the top? I was like, no, that's good. But yeah, that's the first time I've seen it properly. That is way too long. Like, like I would want that down to half that. Oh God, should have looked at it with my glasses on. Anyway, I'm perspiring because I just pretty much ran back. Uh, the other issue is, 
He fucking cut me to shreds. Look, so cut me there. This is with a electric razor. Cut me there, see that, there. Same thing the other side, I can't see it, but so you'll have to, yeah, not quite as bad, but definitely red. Um, there, is that one? Don't know, that might just be my horrible skin. Is it on the back? I'll tell you what, it fucking hurt. He put, um, fizzle, he put, alcohol on at the end um and it absolutely caned like it was so painful like like you did it all over twice um but it just my skin was felt like it was on fire um obviously that's why because he's cut me uh loads uh also it was like then it was like do you want wax or gel and i like i couldn't even speak because of the fumes from the alcohol i was like <laughs> yeah um I will say though, they are really good in there. Uh, burnt the old ears as well, did the fire thing, but yeah, literally actually burned my ear. So it was quite a painful barber experience, but I, yeah, it's good. I, I do like it, and I, it is a nice haircut. It's just too long. So I'm probably gonna need it cut sooner rather than later, which is annoying, because I basically tried to do it like a cheapskate. Uh, right, I'm gonna have a little wash, see if I can get rid of this blood, and uh, see if I can get rid of this blood. Wow, that lighting, this is, guys, I should say, this is not, like lighting, this is the sun reflecting off of the <laughs> the work surface. Look, it's there. It's that. Oh, it's gone down. Immediately gone down, making me look like a liar. Oh no, there it is. Oh, it's back. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna now make a cheese. Oh, actually, that's crap, isn't it? There we go. I'm now gonna make a fruit bag cheeseburger from McDonald's. The only viable use for a fruit bag. I mean, it's a pointless product. Slices of apples and grapes. McDonald's are a joke for even like having this. Oh, it's healthy. It's a healthy alter. You don't go to McDonald's for health reasons, purposes, right? So anyway, yeah, it's April Fool's Day tomorrow, so I'm filming this the day before. Uh, yeah, and thought I'd just do a kind of building the burger. There's the camera going off. That's professional, isn't it? In a professional vlog. Right, so. I'm actually gonna insert this footage into food review as well, so it's gonna be like cross-promotion king. What a cross-promotion lad I am. Also, I hurt my finger. This is a gore warning, hashtag gore warning. Uh, is it gonna focus with those in the background? Who knows, baby? Yeah, I caught my finger in a vending machine and like pulled it out and it pulled a load of skin off, so that hurts a bit. But yeah, anyway, let's make this. Fruit bag cheeseburger. So, food review watchers, I'm filming this on my vlog channel. You can head on over there to check it out. But here we go, we'll assemble the creation. So I've got a plain uh, cheeseburger here. I'll take the, the bun off on the bottom so that it doesn't, you know, so it's easier to pull off, because the cheese, easier to pull off, that's rude. The cheese is on the top, so. Right, this is the uh, McDonald's fruit bag, the most pointless product in existence. Apples and grapes. So we just pour it on there. Um, I don't, actually, I don't want to go overboard. Let's try and be neat about this. Um, yeah, a few grapes in the middle. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Probably get rid of those bits. Or swap that one for there. There we go, that's probably what we want. Right, let's see how that goes. Well, let's see how it goes, bar bar. Right, and then the bloody bap's falling apart, right. Force that down, I suppose, like that. And then, uh, look at the quality of this. Stay in place. Right, let's go and try it. Okay guys, that was a full on behind the scenes segment from Food Review UK. Head on over there, check out for the review, actually double cross promotion, like all the cross. Right, I'm gonna try it before it gets too cold. So this is actually another behind the scenes McDonald's king. Um, let's do live Monopoly, shall we? I'll tell you what I'm doing in a second. Oh my god, I've won a fucking hash brown! Oh. Good, hash browns are nice. Right, so I'm actually doing peanut butter McDonald's milkshake. Let's do it. Let's get it on! Hello watchers from Food Review UK, this is another cross promotion to the life of Michael Jameson. You can watch the full length behind the scenes video on the life of Michael Jameson channel. But, yeah, we are doing peanut butter McDonald's milkshake. Uh, right, so, let's see. Just going to pour the milkshake in first. This is a vanilla milkshake. Putting it in the Nutri Bullet. Oh, wow, good. Actually, I'm going to pour the more liquidy stuff out of there. Just the very top that's completely melted. Just to try and keep the texture as thick as possible. Right, now we've got some 
Meridian peanut butter. Actually, should I put the camera back a bit? There we go. Right, so we've got some Meridian peanut butter now. Because it's Meridian, you have to give it a nice stir first because it separates and all the oil goes to the top, you see. Yep, this is good stuff, guys. This is all natural peanut butter as well. Um, so it's got like no sugar or salt in and whatnot, which is good because obviously the McDonald's milkshake will have absolutely plenty of sugar. Right, that feels good enough. I'm going to put quite a lot in, so more than that for sure. It's just very thick, so not coming off the spoon too nicely. It's not playing ball with me essentially. Right, let's try again. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. That's the cracker. Give it a tap. Try and get the remainder off. Waste not want not, isn't it? Isn't it? I've washed my hands, that's fine that is. I've washed my hands. Right now, Nutri Bullet lid on. Actually, what's the maximum line? That might be over the maximum fill line. Uh, mm, don't know. This might be bad news, guys. Oh well, we'll go. go. There's like a little peanut butter stain there. A little bit more. It's probably mostly blended, so I reckon that's probably going to be okay, actually. Right, now. I suspected it has thinned out quite a bit, but we're going to pour it back into the cup. Ooh. Guys, this does look good. Lid back on. Straw in. Got a nice thick straw. And it fits as well. Good, here we go. Okay guys, that was your second behind the scenes McDonald's journey. Double fusions actually, so yeah. Heading over to that channel once again for that. You're probably subscribed anyway. Bloody hell, I'm in Tesco. That was an absolutely hair raising moment. Uh, walk past just a kind of promotional bits aisle and specifically coming here basically for the white skittles apparently a tesco exclusive to celebrate uh, celebrate celebrate gay pride uh, obviously great review potential just walked past that section literally one on the shelf um now obviously there may well be some down in the sweets aisle but like and there was a there was a woman standing in front of them i was like ah, ah. um so i ran in front of her to grab them sorry I literally got the last bag. I cut like, I'm actually feeling overwhelmed, like, mental. That's just happened. Those are new. Curly whirly squirrelies, they're just not very interesting. I'd get them, but yeah, they're not interesting, so. Good, well, I'm happy about that. So I've just got back, excuse the camera angle, I'm basically just trying to block out the background light because I've just like sat down in front of the window. So, just got back. Tesco and also picking up boxes from the in-laws good trip in Tesco in the end actually I did find some more skills um, I found about 10 more bags so I bought two more uh, one to keep and one to probably sell collector's item in it um, so yeah just gonna do some more video stuff now and chill essentially well not chill work on videos hello I always do this I always film a vlog and then a tap goes off. No, I always film a vlog and then forget to do anything and then the evening comes by and it's just like, yeah, vibes. So yeah, evening is now here. So that, is, that has happened. Hair is looking longer than I wanted. But still, you know, better than it was. Uh, just watching some YouTube. Watching Theme Park Planet right now. Face looking marginally scarred. What do you think of my eye, guys? Oh, you've got a beautiful eye. Pair of. God, my skin is not looking good today, guys. Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be more to come, and that's a good thing.